Hello my friends and welcome to Steam Progress episode 7. So guys, in this episode we are going to attack a little bit. I'm going to try to level up so I can show you more things, we can uh, unlock new things, new units, new structures to build the best base, to build the best team for attacking. So. Now let's see, we have this uh, dangerous fight. Right, as you as you know from the last episode, Citrus, Citrus Flamer, the same base is in practice, is working perfectly except one thing. I'll show you the defense uh, history in a while, but uh, my flamers are not spawning in the place that I want. So after this fight we're going to look into that, in case it happens to you, if you know what I mean. First of all, let's aim on the things here. Mm, this is quite a complicated fight. Uh, I wanted to show you as well how my fights are at this level, how I win, what tactics I use. So we're going to speak a little bit about tactics. Um, it's pretty simple, you have to keep it simple. As long as you have the right cards, you should win, and uh, as long as you move really fast. At this level, you don't have time to waste, you have to do it straight away, all your specials when it's the time for it. So, as you could see there, I put my decoy down, even if it wasn't a proper time to do it, but that gave my flamer enough time to shoot once the flamer is shooting. All the units are dead instantly, plus the structures, plus the walls, plus everything. So, yeah, now I'm going to put the, the paratroopers down because they are strong. So, even if I'm going to lose most of my units, I will keep the tear gas until the paratroopers are down. You put it down and then uh, the paratroopers will do a brilliant, brilliant job against structures. So, the main bunker is gone. And uh, I can spawn more units, I got already more uh, munition. I was quite unlucky there, the sniper tower did shoot my paratroopers, but that's fair enough. So all the specials, they have to be used constantly. So <laughs> this is one of the bases that I didn't really had to, but normally you should. So in few seconds I'm going to use the... The bombing run to just uh, activate the AA and then I'm going to use the the fire bomb to get rid of that uh, sandbag where the units are coming first that will give me more chances and probably I will take a little bit of uh, the bunkers health so that's kind of uh, how it is I bet most of you knew that already so what I did had to say something on this fight and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As fast as you move, as better as you you get at this game, at this level. When you will be high level, you do have time to spawn and uh, to think more about it because you will have loads of munition with you and everything. Uh, it's still a struggle. It's still a struggle, but uh, we can do this. I think we can do this easily. Boom, decoy, that's quite nice to have. And uh, yeah, I wish we can get a good reward. Um, then I have to fix the base. So Citrus Flamer worked well. No one attacked me for quite a while actually. That's why I'm making this episode now. It will be, <laughs> I did record for this episode probably two days uh, I will record for it because uh, this is first part if no one attacks me I want to show you what the base did the reward was alright if no one attacks me that will be complicated now let's do the the base thing I'll show you what I was talking about it will be the best example it happens sometimes if you move something or if uh, I don't know if you don't have enough veterans, if you don't, something like that. 
it happens sometimes and uh, that's quite annoying could be really annoying for a base like mine I mean we tried a lot to build the best base and uh, yeah I'll show you you can see that tank trap down there is no one there so that normally normally that's my main flamer that's why I have the A8 there there are two on the other part but my uh, veteran is coming and attacking the transport truck which is not good so basically I don't have an explanation for that it might be because I uh, moved a little bit the tank trap so I'm going to change some things there and make it work we're going to test it again in a while and see if uh, that's the case if that's the case you will know uh, if that's the case I will know as well for for the future uh, first thing we have to move around the tank traps and see maybe like that maybe move it a little bit forward I thought that would be the best place to have it let's move a little bit the, the sand uh, sandbag as well because I want my flamers to shoot through that hole if possible if not it's fair enough um, I think that will do if we move it a little bit like that let's test it again that's how it works we have to test it always 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 boom 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 press any key thank you so press any key anyway um we are ready to rumble let's see if the flamer is there come on be there just be there oh yeah so it's there now that was the problem the small problem I'm going to to after this I'm going to change a little bit the units around because I don't like it you can see my other uh, my other flamer is still attacking the, the transport truck which is not good I want them it is good could be good could be really helpful but I do want them to stay there I want a strong base and I'm going to move that wall there I have an idea I'll show you after this then we are going to level up a little bit I'll tell you my ideas as well for the next episodes and uh, we see how it goes then we try to level up a little bit we go through everything I'm going to reload the game quite a few times to see if any defense uh, history if something is there I want to show you that is working that's the best example in my opinion so trying to help here and uh, boom right now let's change a little bit of the base we have the that's good that's really good let's see that sandbag there should be somewhere else so I'm going to move the wall I'll place that there move the wall somewhere where it will be helpful probably not there probably up there so we make it stronger it doesn't really matter how it's placed in my opinion but just to be there to take some bullets in case we are going to move the sandbag and push it just there and shift it a little bit so we will have another choke point if the flamers are going there uh, it will be another choke point with two sandbags there both of them will shoot um, probably one of them because the one beside the AA they can actually reach it anyway let's let's put it there hopefully we will have flamers if that's the case it will be really strong so that being said let's test it again uh, what can you do you have to test it all the time test it all the time that's the the key guys if you build your base mm. test it it does take a little bit of time but uh, it does worth it as well I will show you if I get any defense uh, tiny magics. I will show you uh, the amount of munition that you can get. Dog tags as well. If you are looking, 
So I'm happy enough with this. I have the flamer there. Now finally it's going there. Uh, if someone is taking uh, his time attacking me, more flamers will come. Probably they will go attack to attack the um, the transport rock, which it, which it will give me a better chance if the units are stuck in there. I could, uh, yeah, it could use. You see, when you are against flamers, then it's complicated. But I have the, the medics there, they are shooting, they will shoot and they did shoot and that's fair enough. It's still one flamer remaining there and we have another one there. In a perfect world we will have another two flamers down there where the medics are. We see how it goes, we see if we can do that. If not, we are going to do something i don't know we are going to change the bases now and then so the veterans there i you saw the veterans i want them flamers i want to to make another choke point at some point i want to level up because i want the rangers i want good units i want to do everything i will upgrade uh, the structures as well now and then we see how it goes. I will start with the tents. That's the first thing. Let's see what we can build new and when we can build them. We will need more barrels soon. Tents level 28. We don't need any decorations. Even if they look good. Mm, we don't really need them. We see how it goes. Maybe at some point we will make a good looking base as well. Level 20. I can get another one but I don't have building points. So, that being said, we have to level up. Level 17, 50 building points, that will mean another sniper tower. And, boom. Uh, plus one card, that's good. Right, while I, I was leveling up, I did decide I should do the missions as well. Um, everyone should do them because they, they do give some good rewards at this level. You can get the barrels, that's interesting and important and uh, I'll show you how I do it I'll take the first base one white school I'll take uh, three missiles on the hard mission there you have to destroy the HQ with missiles that means you will need missiles uh, simple as that and um, there are two ways of doing it one to kind of cheat on the game and just find the base that you can put the missiles straight away uh, on the HQ and that means you are going to do the mission but most of the bases are having their HQ upgraded so you will need more than three of them anyway uh, my way of doing it is just go uh, and destroy the whole base at the end when the unit starts uh, they start when they start shooting the HQ throw one or two missiles and that's kind of it uh, I'm keeping my missiles here I could use one where the, the units are that would, would have been really helpful the next one on the walls that would have been really helpful as well hopefully my uh, flamer will shoot hopefully we are going to get some flamers as well as veterans I did put the, the focus fire on the flamer because it is really dangerous we all know so let's use the the tear gas there <laughs> now we have five missiles so we are going to do one point on this mission the rest of them during the other battles if we have uh, any missiles left at the end i wanted to show you how to do it in case you need it if you want guys to see more missions to tell me to, <laughs> to tell you how to do it or how what's my opinion about them just let me know in the comments and i will do it anyway i'm going to level up so any challenge extra challenge will be uh, really good to have and i will accept it and as long as i help you guys it does uh, do my uh, my job and boom we are struggling well we always <laughs> can use four missiles so basically i'm going to destroy everything and uh, and uh, get the the munition as well if it's working boom the bunker is gone 
that's how I do it. Anyway, I was going to finish this battle, so uh, doing the mission will just give me something extra when I finish it. It is way more complicated, to be honest. That's why I chose one white school. If you if you want to, if you want really badly to finish the the mission, just go to no school, and but you'll get no cards. Anyway, I'm going to use all my missiles on the HQ. Boom! See? Progress. One out of three. We are going to do it later. All of them. He got one star, but fair enough. We do get some good cards. Not bad. Not bad. So I'm going to level up. Level 17. Let's see what we got. One star again. That was a hard battle. And double XP. Valor and 5k munition. That's amazing. Finish the job, let's see what we got. The barrel, as I told you at the beginning. Right guys, defend history, I finally managed to reload it and... Oh, alright, that's uh, three building points there on that lost, but alright. Mmm, that's loads of victory. Look at the munition earn 30k, dog tag 600 plus loads, loads of cards, keys as well. But I did lose three times. Uh, uh, I bet they are all over level 30. And if they are, that makes sense. Let's check this out. Let's check this out and see the weak spots of our base. Um, boom, boom, boom. Weak spots, weak spots. How did he win this? Let's see. Oh, uh, what do we have there? Boom, boom, boom. He did the normal tactic. He knows what he's doing. He did spawn loads of grunts and uh, and that's that's weird. He has the rocketer and then and what's the next one? That's the machine gunner colonel. So this is over level thirty. So what he did, he used that there, so he got rid of my flamer, he's going to use another one probably or two and get rid of all my flamers. Um, wait, 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 he did use one uh, rally flag, that's quite smart, uh, that's actually smart because he did avoid the, the barrels. One decoy down, that was quite pointless. Because my flamer didn't shoot. Probably he expected the flamer to shoot where the walls are. And let's see what's going on here. Flamer? Yes, flamer. The flamer is doing a brilliant job. And uh, I'm actually proud of that. Even I lost, obviously. You, you could see there. But the flamer did a brilliant job. Once you have the decoy, the flamer is gone. Uh, Sad, 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 but just about the, the other flamer didn't manage to shoot, no AAs, that's the the downside of this base, if you have loads of specials, you are going to lose, but that's only because of high levels and then it's easy, he was going, to, he, he, he's winning anyway, it's pretty easy to do it, um, not really upset about that be honest with you I'm not really upset it's it did stop so another AA in on the other side that will do the trick the flamers are coming quite quick and he, if my flamer managed there to shoot he would have been in trouble to be honest with you oh well, anyway let's exit that's that's fair enough uh, I'm proud I'm proud I'm actually proud to be honest with you, guys. I am really proud. Uh, did a great job. What can I say? Anyway, let's uh, get the daily. I missed it once. Doesn't really matter. Let's see what we have here. We have go to base. So basically, we have some uh, some munition I don't know what we can do with it but we surely can upgrade the tents mm. 
the barracks let's see we can buy the the ranger and do the uh, the thing that I said but mm, mm, it's not the time it's actually not the time no let's upgrade a little bit the AA I need more and more and more power but uh, then again I need the Rangers <laughs> the tents have to be upgraded as well so it is a hard choice I think I'll spend all my all my munition on uh, on uh, upgrading the tents 120 do it I did it I did it I did it I actually did it. might be a mistake this one so if you are not really confident guys don't do it buy the Rangers and uh, work with them Obviously, it's better to buy the Rangers. I mean, probably it's better to buy the Rangers because uh, uh, they they will help you to win. Once you win, that's how you get uh, <laughs> that's how you get munition. But I hope my base will defend way more than it did, so it will do a great job. And I'm going to get munition from that. Uh, <laughs> let's see what we have here mm, that's quite complicated that's quite uh, challenging let's go for that you know what let's go uh, I think I'll skip this fight guys because I showed you one already so it's no really point to show you another one we are going to have one episode where we are going to attack, so we'll do a win streak. So that's the reward uh, that made me be amazed. <laughs> 1k munition. Right, another defend history here. We won one, we lost another one and that's, um, that's not cool. I don't know how it happened. So small raindrops, let's see what, well he does have snipers, he does have riots, uh, he has uh, legendary perks, it's it's way better than me at uh, on my level, but I still want my units to do it, I want my base to win it. Um, we are going to improve as we go in the game and... Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed guys, if you do, please let me know, I'm going to show you more tactics in next episode. If you want to see something in next episode, let leave a comment down there and I'll try to go through everything. So let's see what he did here. My units are well placed, the second choke point, probably I'm going to change the whole uh, thing there. I'm going to buy the rangers at some point and I'll have a choke point, proper choke point. Well, my units will shoot straight, not sneaky snipers, uh, not sneaky flamers and everything. But that's after level 20 probably get more, more munition, more everything. So, so far I'm pretty happy with the base. It is winning more than losing and when it's losing, it's losing against uh, big bases. So it's just supply drop. Okay, he got another firebomb. Again, this is a proper gameplay, it's someone that is playing uh, to win, so he did spawn only grants until the barrels are gone, so th he's not rushing. Uh, and we see how it goes, I am a little bit disappointed to be honest, a little bit, because this is a tricky base but I don't have the AA and um, it does take a while, you can see, if I move that tank trap, my uh, flamer is not going there for some reason, so anyway, um, I hope I helped you with the base building so far, we're going to change more layouts and see which one is the best, I think this is the best for our level if we are going to be attacked uh, by our... <laughs> our level 
in our level range if we are going to be attacked by 35 plus then obviously we are going to lose I can see that firebomb he's trying to get rid of the uh, the, the barbed wire my flamers are doing a brilliant job but I don't know why it's my did he use the decoy there anyway um, and that was quite lucky there that was really lucky actually with that uh, that bombing run he managed to kill my uh, snipe my flamer he managed to kill the other one and then with one bomb he got rid of the anyway guys that's why I've been recycling for a while that's why you should recycle that's why you should recycle as well so I was recycling uh, rally flags well guys that's everything for this episode I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something if you did please leave a like please share with your friends it does really help and I do really appreciate it subscribe if you, if you are new even if you are not new turn on the notification and uh, you'll know when I upload next Guys, I wish you a great day, a great week, and as 